Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to my video, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. Traders, if $1,000 a day is not enough for you, increase your position size. But at the same time, we must follow our money management rules, something that we're going to hone in on today and look very closely at. Now, what I cover in today's session, you can apply the exact same setups and methodologies to futures, forex and stocks. So this is session 93. I do need to pull up the disclaimer. We all know there's a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Stay on the simulator until you are consistently profitable. A very, very quick advertisement. If you haven't already downloaded my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading, you'll find the description link uh, or the download link. Let me say that again in the description below. Uh, and even better still, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so you be kept so you're kept up to date with all of my latest videos even better still become a member for 197 dollars you get all of the indicators that you see on my chart here for ninja trader and trade station i have um, numerous indicators for just about every trading platform but either way if you've got a platform where i don't have coded indicators for i give you the indicator settings that I use and you can use just about any indicator um, just with my custom settings on any trading platform over 200 hours of uh, videos training videos etc etc and even better still on top of that you can attend one month of my life coaching classes so each month I run eight live two recorded sessions so if you can't attend the live session now I recorded uh, Actually, my price on my website now is now $297 a month because it also includes handouts and PowerPoints, but I'm throwing that in. You get one month included in my entire program, which you have lifetime access to. Traders, there is nothing else like it out there. So if you like what I see, if you wish to master the art of day trading using rules-based, low-risk, high-probability strategies, look no further. Okay, end of advertisement. Let's get into this. Traders, winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do. Unfortunately, and I know by, uh, we get to see view time. So I know by how many or how many people start to watch my videos and then they give up or stop watching. And the reason being, I'm not getting the juicy bits quick enough for them. They just want to see the setup. So they don't want to know about anything else but unfortunately they're missing out on the best things such as money management such as where to place your stop such as where to exit the trade all of these are critical factors when it comes to mastering the art of day trading now in today's video I executed I think it was um, how many trades that I execute I've just got to remember here uh, here it was uh, four trades for four wins but I did something a little different today I used a tighter stop loss now normally uh, and this is on the NQ so I'm trading here a four tick NQ Renko candle now if you trade during the New York hours you're probably going to need an eight to a 12 tick Renko so it comes down to so we can see here this is the uh, central standard time Okay, so this is the evening during the Globex session. And yes, you can trade when you get home from work. But what I wanted to try was having a tighter stop. Now, what that meant is that instead of having a $4,000 account, which I'll explain in a moment per contract, you could get away with a $3,000 account per contract. Now, here we had, uh, I had a tight stop, but that stop was tested twice to the tick. And I think it was right here. So in other words, when I enter a trade normally, what I like to do is tuck my stop one tick below the swing, one tick above, one tick above, one tick below, especially on the NQ because we love to come down and test our stops. In today's session, I thought I'm going to try to make it tighter, which will be better for my members uh, and something I could show in the live trading room because I run both the live trading room and coaching sessions. So right here, 
uh, we had an entry and it came down and tested my stop because 12 ticks put me basically it ended up one tick below there and up here we can see I, I had an entry which I'll explain very soon and price popped up and tested my stop to the tick there as well so having a tight stop isn't always the best thing when it comes to trading one of the things we need to make sure of course is that we've got the right account size and one thing that I have for my members is this spreadsheet now ignore the dates over here margins at um, uh, 2022 they're still all approximately the same but what this means here is that if we risk uh, no more than 2% on a trade so let's just say here you're trading the ES and you're trading a two tick Renko you're going to have a stop loss if you use my super scalper of up to eight ticks which is $100 so if we're following the 2% rule just there I need $5,000 if I'm uh, if you're a larger um, uh, trader trading a larger account and you're risking no more than 1% which is um, remember you are your own funds manager and if you've got an account of 50 100 200 thousand dollars in many cases you're risking no more than 1% you would need to have 10,000 per contract now do you need to keep all of that so let's just look at the 2% just here do you need to keep all of that with your broker so irrespective of who your broker is I recommend you consider having 60% of with your broker and the balance in your own account or invested or whatever now don't be fooled by the intraday rates now I know that many brokers will say well look you can trade the ES with only 500 to a thousand dollars but that is where traders the number one uh, probably one of the number one rules they break there is oh beauty I can trade uh, the ES with only 500 to a thousand dollars you have a $100 loss and you all of a sudden you've lost 20 30 percent of your capital uh, many traders are risking five percent now this is where so many traders don't want to hear about this but it's critical there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning if you break your money management rules you're going to be put out of business quick smart now the great thing about trading in today's world is we can trade micros now of course we've been able to do that on Forex for many years but the last three or four years a little bit longer we've had micros on the ES on the NQ uh, we've got got it on gold we've got micros on CL which is 10% of the value of the big contract hence you can see it here now we look at this and say gee whiz I need five thousand dollars to trade the ES right I've only got two thousand dollars will you start on the micros and I'll show you the effect of that in a moment so you start on the micro in no time you've built your account and you're going to stay in the business long term now also most of you are aware when it comes to your maintenance or the overnight margin what it actually means is that come 345 with this is with most brokers come 345 Central Standard Time you need to close any open positions that you have unless you have the overnight margin which is really set by the exchange anyway but you've got to have this sort of amount in your account but once the market reopens at 5 p.m. Central the Globex session or 6 p.m. Eastern uh, we go back down to the lower intraday margin now remember for us we don't we, we you know it says here 500 but we need to have 3,000 with our broker and money in reserve now this is critical and now as I mentioned so many traders break these rules and they wonder why they keep blowing their account this is a business and we're in this business long term now let me just show you this quickly and of course you've seen this uh, in uh, uh, in my PowerPoint sorry um, uh, many many times those that watch my videos regularly so let's just take the case there of uh, the ES and let's just say we're going to trade the micro ES and we average $25 a day on a micro account 
good sensible amount now that's the equivalent of averaging $250 a day on a $5,000 account now what this shows me here is that by week 12 I've now got based upon $25 a day and only adding an extra contract start trading an additional contract each time I get a I get an extra 500 in my account so this is a realistic plan where we're using the markets money to build our account now in week 12 I've now got 5700 in my account I can now roll over and start trading my first yes contract we now go for two hundred and fifty dollars a day when we get to the charts I'm going to be showing you soon how you do this how are you going to net your two hundred to five hundred dollars a day I'll show you that in a moment but based upon a five thousand dollar account and two hundred and fifty dollars a day we can see here 12 weeks later we're basically earning or I have to say legally you have the potential of earning $12,000 a week trading just 11 contracts and my account size is now $57,000 this is a reality so many traders wonder why they never get there some of those reasons I want to briefly cover with you today I don't want to make this a war and peace session but it's important so as I mentioned willing winning traders winning traders let me get this out it's late in the day uh, are willing to do the things that most losing traders won't do such as initially having a realistic expectation on earnings why not target ten dollars a day on a micro initially then increase it and when you roll over then 100 a day on a big contract then you can step it up but unfortunately greed kicks in with so many traders now I recommend in my live trading room that members start with that is once they go live they start targeting $100 a day then they increase it from there because what you're doing is you're building confidence and competence now this is during the globex session you've got a much greater potential of earning uh, a lot more per trade effectively during the New York session because you've got what we call momentum you see in re in real estate it's location 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 in scalping and day trading which is my style particularly scalping it's momentum I want to see the market moving now what we're going to be looking at is this as I mentioned so very soon we're going to go to the charts and we'll spend 15 minutes looking at the charts themselves here I had uh, I call this is called a, a 2b thank you very much now in each of these setups uh, so this is a trade here I would normally have a 16 tick stop that's what I'd normally have um, set which means I'd usually be a couple of ticks below and I'd maybe decrease my stop but I want to make sure that I protect the high and the low now in this case today uh, I only had a 12 tick stop now here's what the bottom line of this actually means now normally if you're running with a 16 tick stop okay first of all and you're going for two hundred dollars a day which is an extremely conservative which I don't want to say concern it's a realistic it's an extremely realistic target it means for the average trader you only need between three and four net trades after any losses okay this is if you're scalping using my strategies now I'm talking ten to twelve thousand dollars a week because I tend to find that the guns that I get they, they're, they're basically the capitalists okay? if they want to earn the big bucks if you want to earn two thousand dollars a week you can see there you're, you're there within weeks but if you want to be earning your ten twelve thousand dollars a week within week 13 you're trading 13 lots your account there is twelve thousand now if you can trade with a smaller account that is with three thousand dollars where you're only risking 12 ticks because 2% of 3,000 is $60 2% of 4,000 is $80 which is 16 ticks on this particular market you can see here I've saved three weeks okay I'm at my $12,000 a week within uh, uh, their 10 weeks 
and the compound effect is enormous now realistically traders there's very few traders down here that are trading 100 lots now I know there, there are traders that are doing that but for the average trader that's at home the average serious trader they're probably trading anywhere from 2 to 20 lots is about the the maximum you'll see for an example you'll never see me trade uh, on the NQ uh, on oil on the ES any more than 10 contracts usually it's five on the Dow because of the lower uh, amount of capital I need I might trade an extra three or four lots on that market but that's getting beyond the our conversation of where I wanted to go uh, to today the bottom line is traders you've got to manage your risk uh, if you don't you're going to blow your account and it trading becomes harder and harder okay you blow your confidence um, uh, <laughs> the psychological effects are enormous now let's now look at this very quickly let's say okay Ray I'm going to follow your advice after you show me the trade <laughs> on the chart and let's go for a sensible amount now if you're if you've blown your account a number of times you need to rebuild your confidence so let's just say here you start with a micro account that should actually be a micro NQ let me just put that there micro NQ at $10 a day what that tells me here is I'm going for only $10 a day I'll show you how to do that in a moment right within 23 weeks you've now got your 4,000 what you've done there is also build up confidence and competence by then okay you've got 4,000 now we can roll over and start trading the big contract now I'm in my 60s and of course you know many of you watching this video perhaps want a low risk lifestyle now if you want that and you just want to get in make some money and finish as you can see here by making just $100 a day per contract within 30 weeks you've got an income potentially of 10,000 a week you've got a $100,000 account uh, and $100 as you'll see in a moment it's just two scalps a day right extremely realistic however traders have sold the BS on the internet that you can do this within a matter of minutes every day um, you, you can risk 5% you'll be right it's just not true now let's go for some perhaps a little more aggressive but very still conservative here $400 $20 a day we build our account within their half a time obviously within 12 weeks and as I mentioned you can start with $300 but as you'll see in a moment and I'll explain it when I get to the charts it's not my cup of tea I prefer to allow a larger stop loss where you can get away the smaller stop loss if, if you've got a great trend and I'll I'm jumping ahead a bit we'll look at that in a moment so once we've got this here for $200 and we build it up sorry up to 4,000 we now switch over we're netting $200 a day which is what my target is per contract now I don't want to be trading three or four hours a day I want to get in and get it wrapped up usually within half an hour to an hour that suits me the young guns you might be happy to sit there for four to six hours a day and go for your thousand dollars a day good on you okay I wish I was 30 years younger I've been day trading now for 28 years and I just want to cruise along that suits me but if you start here on the 400 within 24 weeks based upon what I'm showing you here you can see that uh, we're now netting our 10,000 a week potentially okay our account size is now 46,000 now don't forget to add six to eight weeks on top of this why because before you go live you're going to trade on the simulator okay you're not going to start trading a micro account until you've earned the right to go live if you've got a trading account uh, a live account now you're not making making money stop trading right now one of the most difficult challenges I have with traders is reframing is if you like rewiring the bad habits removing those bad habits they've developed by 
risking 5% uh, by hesitating because they're so scared. They're trading what I call scared money. So let's go to the charts and we'll talk a little more about this on the charts themselves. Now here are the critical factors that every trader needs to consider. Where are my pivots? And you'll see me talk about these every trading session. Where's my prior open high, low and close levels? My 89 and 200 EMA, our intraday swing highs and lows and the current days open high, low and close. Traders, these become what we call price magnets. So what I'm going to do here is to show you from the right hand side exactly what I'm looking for. Now this is the NQ. You apply this to ES, oil, gold, it doesn't matter which market. Uh, what will vary is the time of day, is the size of the candles or bricks. Renko actually means bricks. But of course you can use these concepts, the exact same setups on tick charts, on time based charts. We've got a, uh, one member trading a 30 second chart. That's right. What's the advantage of a 30 second or a one minute? You know exactly when the candle's going to close. Now we've got a bar status indicator, by the way, which on uh, with Ninja Trader will tell us when these candles are going to close. But anyway, what we're looking for is when we've got a period of consolidation like this, I want to see a new higher higher put in place and a new higher low, which we've got right there. Now I call these steps. Okay. Now the way I trade and you'll see on most of my videos, unless I'm going for a larger target and I'll go for a larger target if I've got say a pivot in front of me, if I've got a major EMA in front of me or an open high lower close level, I might say rather than going for seven steps, which is $70 per contract on this market, I might go for $100 per contract. Likewise, if I'm selling or buying into a major EMA and it's a lot closer, uh, instead of going for seven steps, I might even scalp out for three or four. But that might make that a 95% potential trade. I'm willing to do that. So the thing we want to do regularly is what's in front of us. Now, here in this particular case, um, this is what I call blue skies got nothing in front of me at least on the entry chart and what's also critical here traders I trade using what we call an entry chart and let me just pull up the where is it here let me just find that uh, where have you gone just got to find it. it's hiding on me here we go I trade uh, using what we call an entry chart and an anchor chart one okay and I've got an anchor chart two because in the end I look at this this is like we're surfing the wave the wave in the direction of the tide okay so I'm looking for retracements and so I want you to think very carefully about the logic with 80% of my trades I'm looking for a retracement and a trend continuation in the direction of a higher time frame that dramatically improves the probability of my trading and wood of yours so here I have a retracement here and I've got a setup and a while ago and I wasn't on this one in a moment we're going to get to my trades here so I wasn't trading right at this time now this is at um, uh, 2019 central standard time so this is at 8 19 central standard time all right so you get home from work you've uh, had supper you can now sit down and let's get some trading in and thank you very much there's a nice move so what I'm now waiting for is yes I have divergence you can see there I've got a higher high and I've got a lower high now what I'd be looking at is what's my uh, higher time frame telling me that is do I have divergence also on my anchor chart one but let's just stick with trend trading for now we then pull back now I've got my super scalper I've now got another trade now if this is after divergence that is you have a setup after divergence these are a higher risk trade particularly and let me check this just want to just check this and make sure 
okay and it is too all right so let me just um, uh, explain what we have here uh, so just here oh, actually this one's okay so this is what I call a t19 a t19 is where you only have divergence on your entry chart and you nearly always will get a 34b what I was looking at is the second one so see how we we rally up it was only good for what we call five steps our break even so we rally up up here I've got even greater divergence and look over on your anchor chart on the right there okay can you see your MACD just there this is this is what we call a 2d and you'll see me take these every day in fact in a moment you'll see I take two of these for a nice win okay so that is a 2d so we had a 34b and we had then a 2d now when we take a trade remember I said do we have blue skies head what's below me just here well let me perhaps just expand this for a minute go back to this I've got major EMAs down here that black line is a major EMA on the anchor chart one I've just got it overlaid on my entry chart and I've got major EMAs down here the reason this is important I will nearly always get a bounce I've got a slide uptrend so uh, here I'm after my seven steps again now just on this one this is a high and I don't have it at the moment that was a day's high at that time when you had if you had have taken this trade guess what you'd be expecting a bounce at that high so that was only good for three or four steps remember whenever you're buying or selling or selling into a major area of support or resistance get to break even as soon as you can or lock some profits in just like here now my entry would not be until about here so as I'm coming down now remember I'm after normally seven steps so I've actually got two choices here well I've got probably more than two but this is what I'd do I'd get to break even and actually one two three four I'd be a break even anyway as soon as I hit five steps on my uh, dome it automatically puts me in why because I'm expecting a bounce that's five six seven eight nine ten and now I get a reversal so in this case it went an extra what I call three steps okay so here beautiful divergence trade now what have I got just here this is what I call a 3b my entry would not be until now and I would be trading in the direction and here we are trading in the direction of a higher time frame guess how many steps I'm after seven one two three four five six seven now remember slippage and you've got to allow a little extra remember where if, if ever you're back testing the strategy you must tick through by one tick otherwise you're not guaranteed you've actually been filled want to remember that traders that you've got to allow to tick through by one tick to guarantee you've actually been filled okay so I, I would be out of that trade and some of you may say well look why not trail and pick up those extra few steps because traders this is here this is over three minutes I prefer to get in get out get paid I find that as a scalper using fixed targets works much better for me what's next uh, look at this high by the way see that there you've hit the high of day again so as we pull back I'm looking for another trade and I've got one right there now because we're very flat here and this is where this is important we call this the ice cream sandwich zone <laughs> can get very soggy when you've got a flat 200 and a flat 89 you've got to be very careful of these zones so just here uh, we'll, I'll call this as a trade uh, but this is the danger area if you're trading now and, and with any of these uh, entries this is where normally I'd have my stop one tick above one tick below one tick below if you're trading with momentum say like this one where you off where you're bouncing off a trending EMA okay that's much more suitable to have a tighter stop right so I'm going to call this one as a trade I've got no idea what happens here and I just got stopped on that trade okay so I just got stopped right there 
now I have a rule and we'll just see where I get, and now I've got another trade uh, straight away okay I will take two genuine setups in a zone uh, if I get stopped on a second setup uh, in a zone providing it qualifies is one of my setups that's when I've got to wait for a new trend or a brand new zone to set up so here I'd be in let's just say uh, in this case let's just say we're in on the what what the heck let's just say I get slippage okay my stop would normally go one tick below uh, so one two three four five six seven now here is one where one two three four five six we just touched seven steps okay that's seventy dollars now that is where if I saw that reverse and also let's look at that here okay so let's quickly talk about this again when you see you you're coming up and you're hitting that this continually this is where you'll hear me talk about front running that is if I'm coming up to that level I'm going to pull my stop loss up and my stop loss and my uh, pass my entry up to here somewhere why we've already bounced basically once twice three times four times and we're getting another bounce here we doesn't mean we don't take the trade okay this entry but tighten your stop and lock in what you can this is what scalpers do now this is where then I then have my first trade coming up now what I look for traders is for a trend I'm looking for higher highs and higher lows what I've now got here is a higher high and probably I'll get a higher low for this entry and right there I'm in on this trade okay now but what about this well I've sort of broken out of this and I've got a higher low and my EMAs are trending so up we go okay and I get filled thank you very much and I actually uh, what did I one two three four five six, uh, I was trying to go here I was going for a larger target by the way there must have been it's not going to show now because my pivots are not plotting here now uh, up here but um, and I don't remember this uh, 24 48 hours in a scalpers life is a long time uh, so see how I got out here what that means to me is um, I was going for a larger target and I got slippage when I exited but as you can see there's still a really nice winning trade but I also had a nice divergence trade here so I had a higher high on price and this is trade number two and this is what we call a 1d a 1d traders is where I have divergence on a higher time frame so here and so when I've got divergence on a higher time frame um, that usually uh, or quite often would lead to a deeper oops sorry about that a deeper retracement whoops not what I wanted to do we'll just do this here anyway uh, but an important thing with this uh, and actually here you can see I got in quite late I should have been in this divergence trade up here it's probably because of this one here so I was in a couple of steps late but what's below me major EMAs so what do I want to do when I hit the EMAs I want to get ready to exit the trade why we're in an uptrend I've taken a CT trade into uptrending EMAs and I was filled on that then I had what we call a 3b now this is where on each of these setups I was using a 12 tick stop loss what that meant was in entering this trade my stop would have been here somewhere not up above here but you can also see that I had momentum I had momentum but this is what can also happen so see how we ticked up and come back down that came within one tick of stopping me out so normally I'd have my stop under here so that was really close so I'm still in the trade and by the way if I uh, for members watching this you had a t10 right here as well so if you miss that one you've now got another 3b and a t10 okay so you've got another entry and so thank you very much I'm out of that trade now as we then come up here 
I now have another setup up here and if I remember correctly this is what we call a 2d and this is where once again my stop was tested to the tick now I got in here quite early on this setup because of the major divergence my stop was one tick above the swing where it would normally be but you can see here this tail come up and within one tick so there's a good example why I like to have my stop one tick above okay so I entered the trade it reversed pretty much immediately and I'm coming down here and I'm out at the 89 EMA so this was um, 50 minutes of trading so this time frame see there was nice and slow plenty of time to think about the trades and there were some really nice trades thereafter by the way okay and there was a, a t10 for members watching that just there um, that was uh, even greater divergence but there four trades for four wins after commissions 1051 uh, but I tested that stop twice and so I don't even think I've brought this I might have showed the members in the live trading room the other morning but you know my, my conclusion is traders you know uh, yes you can have tight stops so where when you've got a bounce off a great trending EMA if you find your flat your major EMAs are flat give yourself some wriggle room see that just there okay you've got a trend you've got a bounce here's not too bad but you can see we did come somewhat down and tested that stop now traders these are absolutely critical factors that we need to be considering when we trade now trading is not rocket science it's a matter of mastering and learning your rules based high probability setups learning how to trade in the direction of a higher time frame and um, you know which EMA bounces are the best and which are your best reversals now with the reversals by the way with divergence trading I advise all new traders forget divergence trading initially you want to focus on only a couple of setups initially that are trend following remember traders you only need is that still no I close that you only need that those couple of trades a day here and you're kicking butt that's all you need just go for realistic targets each day and you get wealthy so traders come and join me $197 you get my entire program uh, some of my members describe it as a gold mine literally is a huge amount of resources and you can also attend for one month free my coaching program now after one month if you wish to resubscribe uh, you can go to my website but it's all laid out here so $197 so traders I'll finish this session thanks very much hope you got a ton out of this and I'll see you on my next video